This is Master Fitness, and this is a fitness motivation, and I want to talk about abs and getting older, diet and nutrition. Your abs, I, and the reason I'm talking about it, I heard an entertainer talking a couple of weeks ago, and they were laughing and joking about when you're in your 60s, you're going to have a stomach. You know, that's just the way it is. You get older, you're going to have a stomach. You do not have to have a stomach just because you're getting into your 60s. You know, that, that is false. I know people in their 30s, 20s, some of them in their teens, 40s, 50s, and so forth, have stomachs. And the reason they have a stomach is because if you don't work out and you don't have any stomach muscles in there to hold that stomach in, as you continue to eat and gain weight, well, your stomach just gonna get bigger. <laughs> Very simple. That's what's going to happen. So whether or not you're in your 60s, 70s, or 80s is really irrelevant. Now, I understand what he was, what they was trying to say because if you don't work out at all and you haven't worked out, and if you're going into your 60s and 70s and you constantly, you know, gaining weight or putting on a little weight, or you have no mus, no muscles at all in your stomach. Well, but then your stomach is going to start hanging. It's going, you know, you have nothing to hold your stomach in because you've never worked out anyway in the first beginning. You know, we're talking about the people who don't work out. So therefore, you will have a stomach in 60s, at the age of 60s, 70s, and so forth. But you do not have to have a stomach if, if you work out. There's a lot of people, and we know people, and if we don't know them, we can always <laughs> YouTube and Google them in their 60s and 70s who have six-packs because they work out. Now, you don't necessarily have to have a six-pack, but you just got to work out and make sure your stomach is not done lapping. <laughs> that means fitness and nutrition because abs, just like any other part of your body in your overall fitness level, is fitness, diet, nutrition. All of that goes hand in hand. We can do all of the sit-ups we want to do at any age. If we don't diet and watch what we eat, well, then it's almost irrelevant. I mean, you know, if you keep say they're putting on weight and you're trying to get a six-pack, well, that's going to make it even more difficult. You know, that's why fitness, diet, and nutrition goes hand in hand at any age level. But this, this, this notion about that I'm getting old and, I'm, and you're supposed to look a certain way and all of that stuff, those days are over. It should be over. That's that old mindset. That's the old mantra thing that was put out there. Some people are going to still follow it. But, these, the, but that's the thing where people don't want to do nothing anyway. You know, you got to motivate yourself and you got to want to get in shape and you got to want to do the ab work. Even if you're a person that work out, you still got to do the ab work. You know, you still got to do the ab work. Don't you, don't, you may have nice legs and still have a stomach, <laughs> you know, because you're not doing any ab work. You know, my suggestion is to work the complete body, a full body workout, even adding abs, you know, every other day, so to speak, you know, and so forth with legs and everything. You know, one day maybe... Uh, chest, well, next day cardio, so forth. You know, you got to have a workout plan on how you hit mostly all muscle groups, you know, especially if you're aging, you know, but all of this stuff should start way before you get there as far as age-wise. But however, if you are in age and getting up there, you certainly got to work out because once again, the more you don't do nothing as you age, the weaker your body is going to get. You're not good. You know, you're not stretching. So you're not going to have any flexibility. Okay. You're not doing any muscle work. You're not doing any strength work. So you're not going to have any strength there as you sit down. You can't get up and things of that nature. So yes, you know, this aging thing of getting over the thing or whatever they want to call it. Yes, it will play a factor then. But if you're a person that's been working out, You've been working out, say you 75, you know, somebody out there, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You've been working out ever since you were 50 or 45. 
Well, when you get 75, uh, it's not going to affect you a whole lot as far as getting up off the sofa, you know, because you have been putting in the strength of work and you have strength in your leg to get up. And that's the, and that's one of the things that, that happens when people get older and they're in the kitchen as they get older, you know, the seniors, you know, they fall down and they're unable to get up, you know, and it could be, you know, of course, it's probably medical issues involved in that. But if your body don't have any muscles and you don't have any flexibility where you can't even bend over to a certain extent, that is going to be a problem as you get older. Simple as that. That's why it's important to work out and put in the work early on and keep working out. You know, also it fights chronic diseases, okay? Some of the things that's taking people out, high blood pressure, hypertension, diabetes, kidney, heart, all of this stuff are chronic diseases that if you, you know, and sometimes, you know, if, they, you know, if you've made it that far, <laughs> if you made it this far, it's time to start looking at that to say, maybe I need to start putting in some work so I can make it to the next 10 years. I'm talking about seniors and people out there with some age on them, you know, and again, I got some age on me too, <laughs> but I work out a lot. I work out. I'm retired, but I work out and I put in the work. You know, I'm not, I'm not going backwards. You know, I'm not going to start dropping off and you shouldn't either. You have to put in the work and take care of yourself. There's no excuse about I'm getting old and keep using that mantra and using that as an excuse. Some people will continue to use it. That's just the way it is. You know, some people don't want to work out. They're not going to do it. But for the people out there who want to take care of themselves and understand that their health and wellness is important as you go forward. I'm master fitness. I'm an older gentleman. <laughs> But I work out though. So if you can't tell the difference, what's the difference? Okay? And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of salt and pepper, silver fox. Okay? You know, it, it ain't nothing better than that. You know, when you when you when you look good and you got the silver fox going on. <laughs> Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Get into a fitness program. Start working out and keep looking good. Because our generation here, we're going to have people in our 90s, in our 100s, going into our 100s. We're going to have people. We already got some now. Pull them up. You got people right now that, that's been working out for many, many years, going into their 90s, and still looking good and getting around. This generation, we're going to have that. You know, I, I know that may not be what, you, what, perhaps not what you're shooting for, but the key is as long as you're here on this earth, you want to have good health. Nobody wants to live a life up to and you know to be miserable with all kind of nagging injuries and pains and can't get up off the sofa, you know, you know, can't even bend over and pick up something off the floor when you drop it. You know, nobody wants to live that life. You know, that that, that that's that's difficult. So get into your fitness program, start working out, and let's not get to that point. The older you get, the better you should get physically. Like and subscribe and ride with me and I will help get you there because I'm older too. This is Master Fitness, the building of a machine.